This month I've been told my PhD in game design doesn't have enough to do with video games, but I did release a scripted video for the first time in over a year, so let's talk about that instead. I'm only going to give a quick update on this because I'm still trying to get more information from them, but it took them two months to finally contact me and tell me no one wanted to supervise my PhD. Now, that's fine. Obviously it's disappointing, but if no one's interested in it and no one wants to do it, there's not really much I can do. I can just reapply again later on, maybe? But I don't really have any control over that. The reason I was confused is because this is very different than what I'd been told originally. When I first sent it in, I sent it to the head of multiple departments, and the head of the games department seemed somewhat interested in it. So I kind of thought maybe I'd go for that. Like, it just makes sense. My master's is in games. The proposal was about games. The games people were interested. Seems like it'd go there. So I asked them why no one was interested, and they told me that the games department decided it wasn't to do with games. So they sent it to the psychology department instead? I was very confused by this. I said to them, how does my PhD into developing trans-friendly game design principles not to do with games design? At which point I was told, oh, well, they said it wasn't, so we sent it to psychology. And I was like, that didn't answer the question. Like, how is it not? The entire purpose of it is to develop new game design principles. And they said, well, they said it wasn't, so we sent it to psychology. And in the middle of this conversation, the person I was talking to went on holiday for two weeks. So I have no idea if or when they'll ever get back to me. I'm still trying, but I don't know. I've now contacted some people that I used to know while I was there, like some of my old lecturers and stuff, to see if they have heard anything about it or can do anything about it. But I'm just confused, to be honest. I don't really know what else to say. I thought it was a good idea, and I thought it was pretty obvious who would be interested in doing it, and yet I've been told that it's not right for them. Besides being confused about my PhD though, the main thing I've done this month was I made my Final Fantasy XIV tier list. So that's my first scripted video in over a year, and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I wrote a lot more than I was expecting to, which is nice. I enjoy just working on stuff like that. Like, I get tired of it after a bit, but I like editing. I like audio editing if I do it in the right way. So I'm actually recording this podcast differently than I would usually. So if it sounds any different, that might be why. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it'll just flow like normal. It might be a bit quicker. Seems like it's going to be that way at the moment. But hopefully it means that my editing process will go faster. And if that happens, that's going to save me a lot of time. So that'll be worth it. But anyway, the thing with like my half hours and stuff is that they're all just like templates that I set up a long time ago, which is why I can do them so quickly. But it's also, it's not the most interesting edit to do. I kind of like making the TikToks, but again, they're just like templates that I make and slide the things into. Doing this is like a big change. Every time I make one of these scripted videos, it requires me to do something different. At the very least, something that I don't do often, if not something entirely new. But either way, I just like doing it. Scripting is still the hardest part, but like I say, I wrote a lot more than I expected to, so that was good. My goal was, I think, a thousand words, because I try and minimum hit a thousand words on anything I write. And I think it ended up being two and a half thousand, which is good. Like, it's decent. I think it might be my longest scripted video, which is kind of weird when you think about it, considering I've done one other tier list, two other tier lists, and they were both about more games. And yet, I think they're both shorter. <laughs> I spoke about this one way longer, despite being about fewer pieces of content, but that's just how it works out. I liked making it, and it was difficult, but I still like writing it, and I liked editing it, and you know, making it and everything. It was a bit stressful. It was a bit right towards the end where I had everything the way I wanted it, but it just didn't feel right, and it ended up just being the music. So originally I had just my favourite song from each expansion, just played underneath that expansion's section of the video, and it just didn't feel right. It felt like the video was like dragging. So what I did instead was instead of each section having one song, I made it so each paragraph had one song. I think there's one time at the start where I don't do that, but each section has like visual changes that goes with it. Whereas in the sections that don't have visual changes going with it, I had the audio changing instead. 
and it just makes the entire video flow way better. It's weird like how such small changes can drastically affect how the video feels, but it always feels kind of cool just getting it right. So I made it and I was pretty happy with it and I put it out and so far it's got 10 views. Now I'm not complaining that it's got 10 views, but it's not very much. So there is no point in me looking at things in terms of how much money they bring in because just about nothing I make brings in money. I'll get like little things sometimes. Very, very rarely someone will donate to me on Twitch. That's always nice. And obviously I've got my Patreon. That brings in consistent money. It's small money, but consistent money. So I guess every video brings in a little bit if you weigh it off that. But I release like two to three videos a day. So if we say it's two videos a day, that's like 62 videos a month. And I get at the moment, as of this month, $13 a month. So that's like, what? 40p? It's less than 40p per video. The point of that is to say, I don't view my videos on how much money they bring in because it's not worth doing that. I view my videos basically as like, how long they are worth watching. I feel like that doesn't make sense. What I do is like, like one of my half hours is half an hour long and takes me about an hour to make. I've got half an hour of recording and then half an hour of editing. It's a bit under half an hour when you include like getting all of the research done as well. It's probably about half an hour. And then like half an hour to upload. Like it's not really half an hour, but like render time and upload time and getting the tweet set up and all that shit. So yeah, that's another half hour. So that means that if it's a half hour video, it takes me an hour and a half to make. That means three people would have to watch that all the way through for it to be worth it. That's kind of how I view each of these. So if we view this video in that context, and we have to be very clear here that I'm not including the time I spent playing the game because that would take it to well over a thousand hours. So I, I'm not including that. I spent easily 16 hours making this video and the video is 13 minutes long if we round up. So at that rate, to break even on time, 74 people would have to watch it. 74 is a lot for me, to be honest. It is weird because like, I feel like that's not a lot. Like, YouTube will recommend videos to me of people with less views than that and I've watched them before now and they've ended up being good. But I don't know. 74 is a lot for me, but I don't feel like it's a lot overall. But anyway, 74 people would have to have watched that video all the way through for it to have been worth it for me to spend the time making it. God, every time I move, my wrist clicks and I think it's picking up on the audio, which means I'm going to have to go through and fix it every single time. And it's really annoying. The issue is, so far, 10 people have watched it. Of those 10 people, zero people have made it all the way through. On average, no one has made it through the first paragraph. Is my stuff really that bad? <laughs> I don't think it is. I think my stuff's, like, decent. People always tell me my stuff's good. And I'm like, if it's good, why does everyone watch it? Generally, I know people who will watch the things I make. At least sometimes. I know there is, like usually one person who listens to this podcast. And to be clear, I don't even make stuff because I expect other people to watch them, I just like doing it. But it would be nice if people did. I like making stuff, like I said, but it's really disheartening for zero people to even make it through my first paragraph of a video that I spent 16 hours making. And I feel like 16 hours isn't a lot, like I know other people spend way longer on their videos, but that's how long I spent on this one and it doesn't work out for me. <laughs> I thought before I made it, that this video was pretty good. And to be honest, I still think it's pretty good. I thought it was relatively funny at times. The way I gave like the little overview of what happens in each expansion, I tried to make that at least a bit amusing. But I don't know if any of the people think that, because no one even got that far. This is why I stopped making scripted videos, to be honest. Just because they stress me out, because I do find writing scripts really difficult. They stress me out, and I get no reward for making them. And if I'm making stuff and getting zero reward for doing it, that means I should do something else with my time instead, surely. I don't include everything I make on that because like the half hours, I actually make the half hours not because I make the half hours. I make the half hours because I wanted to play more types of video games. I have like a massive Steam catalog and that's just Steam. I have like 1700 games and then I've got my physical games and I've got close to a thousand and then I've got all my other digital games, 
Like, I own two to three thousand games, and I wasn't playing the vast majority of them. So that's why I started the half hours. I've spoken about that before. So I don't include the half hours in this, because the reward in doing those is having done them. The scripted stuff, the reward should be that I get better, but I don't feel like I am. Part of my issue with that is, like, I feel like I would get better if I had more feedback, but I don't get any feedback because no one watches the stuff. So it ends up just not being worth it at all. There's something to say of, like, just doing it makes you better at it, but I feel like I'd grow a lot faster if I got any feedback on what I made, but instead I hear very little. I think one person made it about a minute into the video, and that's not even the start of the tier list. That's, like, the end of the intro. Like, I don't know. Am I just doing something wrong? I feel like I'd be less bothered about this if I knew what I was doing wrong, but I don't. I feel like I'm making at least decent content. I'm making stuff that I enjoy making. I feel like I would watch this. Like, I wouldn't watch every single one that I ever made, but I'd probably watch one or two. You know what I mean? Like, it always makes me feel like giving up, and I don't want to give up, but at the same time, I don't know what else to do. I've got more videos planned, at least until the end of the year, which I realise is only two more months. I've got one video planned for next month, and one video planned for the month after, which I want to do, but I don't know about at the moment. What I mean is it requires not particularly difficult work, but just a lot of it, and it's a lot of planning. Once the planning's done, it's not actually going to be too difficult, but there is a lot of planning that goes into it, and it's a matter of whether or not I can get all that planning done. It's more so whether or not I get the video done. I've got stuff planned to the end of the year, at least. We've talked about the biggest thing I've released in a while already, so now it's just the rest of things. I did start a new channel at the start of the month, like I said I might do, and it's just for my sentences. So they go up on that channel now. So far, it's just the new ones, and a couple of old ones, and a couple of remakes. That's how it's going to continue being. They're posted in the same style as my TikToks are. They are literally the same videos. I just post them in both of those places, because I used to make TikToks and sentences. I'm just making two versions of the same thing. And I feel like one of these is superior version. I'll just use the superior version then. So that's what I've been doing. They're doing better than they were on my main channel. So that's good. The YouTube short versions don't do as well as the TikTok versions, even though it's literally the same video. They're clearly not getting pushed out the same way. But they're doing better than the original sentences were on my main channel, pretty much regardless of what they are. So I guess it works out. I'm starting to think, going back to what we were talking about before about how like no one watches my stuff, I'm starting to think that maybe the problem is my channel itself. I know YouTube does some shit about, with its algorithm, about how it recommends stuff to people. It like recommends channels based on what's popular on that channel. And I have one video that was really popular, and a lot of videos that weren't. And I feel like because of that, it will not push anything I make, which is, you know, great, but... There's not really much I could do about it. I could make another new channel and post my scripted stuff on there. And you know, it's like, yeah, I could do that. But then what's the point in this channel? I don't know. I don't really want to do that. It doesn't really make any sense to do that. But at the same time, I have no other ideas. So yeah, I've now got three YouTube channels, a Twitch, and a TikTok that I all use regularly. TikTok and my shorts channel for my sentences, gameplay channel for all my gameplay and my Twitch archives, Twitch for Twitch, and my main channel for scripted content and the podcast. Also other random shit. <laughs> I would like to post my sentences to Instagram as well, just because my wife uses that a lot and she tells me it'd be good, but I don't really see the point. Honestly, it's not that I don't see the point. I wouldn't mind doing it, but Instagram doesn't let you schedule posts and that just doesn't work for me. I schedule every single thing that I make. I make things in batches and schedule them to go up over time. Half hours and sentences get scheduled for the week. My stream archives go up for the next day. And my LP episodes, I tend to make all of those in a big batch at the start of the month. And they go up for the entire month in one go. I've spoken about this before, but for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, I am recording episodes now that will come out in March. So I tend to be quite ahead. That's how I work. And Instagram doesn't let you do that. Which is why I don't post to Instagram. The idea is they want it to be spontaneous, and it's like, yeah, that's great, but that doesn't work. It's just inconvenient for everyone. It's inconvenient for the people who don't want to pay, because you can pay for services, or you could literally pay people to do it for you. But for people like me, I don't 
want to waste my time at eight o'clock every day checking to see if I have to upload a thing to Instagram. Like, that is just stopping me from using Instagram altogether. Besides how much I dislike Instagram, Yakuza Kiwami 2 started on my gameplay channel, which I'm really happy with. I'm enjoying it a lot, though I'm not sure if I'm going to get it done on time. Originally, one of the reasons why I chose to do this is because it's a game that's 40 hours on average, which would be 40 episodes, and there were 40 episodes of time between now and Christmas. Well, the end of the year, but Christmas. And I was like, that'd be great. I'd like to start an LP now and have it end at the end of the year. Because I don't think I've ever managed to do that. <laughs> I think they always overrun. And either way, Sunbreak is going to overrun. But I don't think I've ever managed to get one to end at the end of a year. And I just kind of wanted to. And I don't think I'm going to be able to. <laughs> the issue really right now is I just recorded episode like 37. 37 or 38. And I am still doing the Cabaret Club. I just want to get the Cabaret Club main story finished. What I might do is... I've actually done pretty much all the Cabaret Club like back to back. What I might do is bundle all of the Cabaret Club into one episode. Besides the one that does actually take place in the story, all the rest of it kind of just happens. So I could bundle all of it together at the end. That might work. At least bundle this recent section. Because in this recent section, I have gone from, at least from the second league all the way up to the final league, one after the other each day. And it would end up being like a four, five hour long video. But it would just be the Cabaret Club. And then I'd have more normal episodes after that. And I also might have to do the same thing with the Majima Construction. That's my idea. What I need to check is if... So say it's one five hour long episode as opposed to five episodes for each. That's still two episodes. And that would take me to, I think, episode 32. Now, if I can't get the entire rest of the game done in the next seven episodes, then that just isn't worth it either way. So, in which case, I'll just have them out as normal episodes. Right now, I'm just not sure. We'll see when I finish the game, which I think probably not going to finish it this month, just because there's only a week left in the month, and I've not finished the Cabaret Club yet. So that'll probably... I should, I'll either finish that tomorrow or the day after. And then I have to head back to Camarocho, and then do all of the Majima missions. I'll probably finish it by the end of next month, so I might know by then what's going to happen. So I might talk about that in the next month's podcast. Everything else is just going to carry on as normal. I've got a new scripted video coming out next month, another podcast coming out next month. I'm going to be doing my streams, both of my LPs, all of my half hours, my sentences, anything else I feel like making at the time, which generally is nothing, but could be something. I will also be taking a couple of days off, but those days off are going to be back to back, and they're actually going to be after next month's podcast anyway. One's for my birthday, and one's because we've got a meeting in a different city, so I'd have to take the day off to be able to get there. It won't really affect anything, I just won't be able to stream those days. I can't really talk about it in next month's podcast if it happens after next month's podcast, can I? But, I don't know. If I remember to, I'll do it in the one after. But yeah, besides that, everything's just carrying on. Special thanks to my new patron, SDB. You can join them over at patreon.com slash holdinggatsby, and for one dollar a month you'll get to see what I'm working on early, and get exclusive roles in my Discord, along with other rewards I might think of. You can also just follow me there if you want to for free, as it's probably the best place to see all of my content as soon as it's available. There's links to the Patreon, along with my Discord, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and all the other podcast platforms in the description for this episode. Finally, don't forget you can email me using podcastby at gmail.com if you've got anything you want to say. Thanks for sticking around. Bye. Special thanks to my patrons, Justin Wood, Hobbs, Koopy Vegeta, and Gunrunner. You can join my patrons at patreon.com slash Holden Gatsby, follow me on Twitter at Holden Gatsby, and follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Holden Gatsby. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.